Hi everyone, in this video we are going to convert our hair system to hair cards so we can use it in different places. Okay, so what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to select all my systems here and here on the hair tool we are going to go to uh, hair operators and then convert. And then you have convert hair to mesh, convert hair to mesh, and finalize hair. And that can be a little bit uh, confusing. So if you convert the hair to mesh, what is going to happen? It's this system is going to get converted to a hair mesh, and you're going to be you're going to be losing the system. If you do finalize hair, that that's what I'm going to do. Then it creates like a copy, so you keep your uh, let's say it's like a backup. So let's do finalize hair. And as you can see here, we still have our systems that we can now turn off. And now here we have our meshes. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put all together. Uh, remove this, remove this. I'm gonna call that hair mesh, hair mesh. I'm gonna keep it separated for a second because now uh, what I want to do is to enable the statistics so I can see how much um, how, how much uh, polygons do we have and then I'm gonna select all of them uh, jump into local so our hair is 40 47 like, like almost a hundred thousand uh, triangles and what we want to do and that's why I want to keep it separately it's because I want to kind of um, apply the decimate and then the, we can do it per group so we have more control where we are going to be losing more geometry. So uh, this is uh, on uh, generate decimate and then by default I always like to start at uh, point 0.1 so here we are at 30,000 faces So we reduce dramatically uh, here. Let's do let's do the same. Generate decimate one one. And the front part. Uh, let me see the front part. We had at uh, it's only seven hundred. So I'm going to leave the, the front like this just because um, the front is more visible than the, the top part. So I think it's just better to, to do it like this. And then what I want to do is jump into... Edit mode here. I'm going to enable uh, the... How is it called that thing? The, um, um, I forgot the name, but this is, um, that allows, it's like this, like a smooth editor or something like this, I think. I forgot the name. Oh, uh, proportionally, I think. So that, uh, that what does, it, it moves um, not just the, the this vertices, but uh, any other vertices that are uh, around and then, what I want to do, first of all, is reduce the intensity. So now you can see it's just moving this part. And another thing I want to do is to be sure that uh, I only move vertices that are connected. So the, I, this way I only affect this strand and not the, the, the strand's neighbor. And the other thing I want to do is to enable the face snapping because I'm going to be snapping these vertices to the, to the, to the scalp. So now I can I can be like moving them and usually I do this uh, this uh, like more manual just on the front of the hair because that's the part of the hair that um, it's more visible. Thank you. 
And then in the next videos, I'm gonna show you uh, a couple of tricks. For example, if we want to, um, let's say we want to export the hair, I'll do a couple of exports. I'll, I'll do one to character creator and I'll do one to uh, Unreal. And the couple of tricks um, or hacks, it, yeah, it's more like a hack what I do than a trick. The, the, the hacks that I use. So yeah, that's it. We have our meshes, then now we could uh, select all, all, all of them. And well, let's come here now uh, on the select objects and then uh, join them, control J. And now our hair is here and Oops, sorry, we have to do, before we join, that's important. Uh, did you see that, now, so if we join like that, uh, we are back to 47,000, sorry. And that's because our modifiers are not being, we, they didn't get applied. So let me undo, okay. So a uh, quick way to apply all your modifiers, it's uh, going here, object, and you say convert to mesh. So all your modifiers get applied directly. And now I can select again my hair, control J. See if I can select the front, no. control J, and then we can do, um, yeah, we can, I think that's good. And then the next thing we can do to uh, optimize, because here we are gonna have uh, this part of the, uh, the scalp, so we don't really need uh, all of that hair here. Uh, let me just come here. I'm gonna jump to side, and then I'm gonna make sure I have the lasso selected. And then, um, yeah, we can select all of these. Those got, and then Control L to select the whole thing. The vertices. I don't know, if I do, maybe we can clean it. Let's see if that does anything. Um, here on uh, merge, delete, delete loose. Yeah, we, we remove 2000 vertices. Yeah, that's good, that's good. So yeah, that's, uh, that's our, our hair. Save it. And the good thing is we, we keep having our system here so we can come back if that's too much of a, of a optimization. But I think uh, now we are in good numbers. We are at 10,000 triangles. For this haircut, I think it's good. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's it for now. Uh, next videos are gonna do, it's gonna be about the, the export to Character Creator and to Unreal. So, see you then. Bye bye.